Ever since Johnny Depp lost the Libel case, fans of the Pirates of the Caribbean actor have been demanding that DC remove Amber Heard from the sequel, Aquaman 2. In a recent conversation, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom producer, Peter Safran, opened up about the ongoing controversy. Aquaman 2 director panics. Nothing can stop the Aquaman flop. When the film's director James Wan recently revealed on social media that work on the sequel has begun, Depp's fans once again reignited the hashtag Justice for Johnny Depp campaign. They started calling for Heard's removal from Aquaman 2. As reported by Just Jared, during his appearance on Deadline Hero Nation podcast, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom producer Peter Safran opened up about Johnny Depp's fans wanting Amber Heard out of the DC film. On being asked if the social media campaign by Depp supporters demanding Amber has had any impact on the production and casting choices, he said, I don't think we're ever going to react to, honestly, pure fan pressure. You gotta do what's best for the movie. The Aquaman 2 producer further continued, We felt that if it's James Wan and Jason Momoa, it should be Amber Heard. That's really what it was. Peter Safran also added, One is not unaware of what is going on in the Twitterverse, but that doesn't mean you have to react to it or take it as gospel or accede to their wishes. You have to do what's right for the film, and that's really where we landed on it. While Amber Heard is still playing the female lead in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, the loss in the legal battle led to Johnny Depp stepping down from the Warner Bros. movie Fantastic Beasts 3. In an exclusive to Deadline, Aquaman 2 producer Peter Safran said they would not replace Amber Heard as Mera despite a massive fan campaign for her removal. In November 2020, followers mobilized to support Johnny Depp after his firing from Fantastic Beasts 3. In several tweets targeted towards Warner Bros, fans called out their double standards about replacing Depp and not Heard. In June 2021, the campaign for Amber Heard's removal from the sequel gained traction after director James Wan shared a snap from the first day of production. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom faced severe backlash and boycott threats from fans for the inclusion of Heard, said to reprise the role of Mara. Fan campaigns to remove Amber Heard as Mara were again trending on social media. Fans were inspired to voice their opinions after YouTuber Strider HD uploaded a deepfake video of Game of Thrones star Amelia Clark as Mara. If you've heard about actors Johnny Depp and Amber Heard lately, it's most likely related to the ex-couple's divorce proceedings and legal clashes. And as Depp and Heard continue to throw allegations at one another, it's starting to bleed over into professional lives. Last week, after losing his Libel lawsuit, Depp stepped down from the role of Gellert Grindelwald in the Fantastic Beasts franchise, and now there's talk about Heard possibly not being brought back to play Mera in Aquaman 2. To be fair, while Johnny Depp's Fantastic Beasts exit came from the actor himself, Amber Heard possible dismissal from Aquaman 2 comes from unconfirmed rumors and reports. Well. Now the actress has set the record straight by debunking those claims and saying she will be back for another round as the DC Extended Universe's Mara. So for those of you who have enjoyed Amber Heard's work as Mara, you can look forward to her playing the Isabellian princess for a third time in Aquaman 2, assuming nothing changes between now and when the sequel begins filming. While 2018's Aquaman saw Heard's Mara featuring prominently alongside Jason Momoa's Arthur Curry, we were introduced to this version of the character in 2017's Justice League. An alternate envisioning of how Mara and Arthur met will unfold when Zack Snyder's Justice League drops on HBO Max as a four-part miniseries next year. Of course, just because Amber Heard confirmed that she's playing Mara again for Aquaman 2 doesn't mean everyone will be pleased. With so many negative allegations having been directed at Heard while her and Johnny Depp's dirty laundry has been publicly aired, there's a Change.org petition calling for Heard to be removed from Aquaman 2, and it's collected over 1 million signatures. It was reported shortly before Aquaman's release in December 2018 that a sequel was being considered, and the following month, Aquaman 2 was officially confirmed to be in development. Along with Amber Heard and Jason Momoa's return, Aquaman 2 will see Yaya Abdul-Mateen II reprising Black Manta, which is fitting given what happened in the first movie's mid-credits scene. 
it's possible Patrick Wilson might also return as Ocean Master. Behind the cameras, Aquaman co-writer David Leslie Johnson McGoldrick will return to open the sequel, and James Wan is expected to sit back in the director's chair. As for when Aquaman 2 will begin filming, Amber Heard said the plan is for cameras to start rolling sub-time in 2021. However, given how the health crisis continues to impact productions, we'll have to wait and see if the Aquaman 2 cast and crew can indeed begin work next year or if drastic circumstances will force principal photography to be delayed. Director James Wan finally unveiled the title for the upcoming Aquaman sequel, but instead of celebrating the announcement, reignited calls to boycott the film unless Amber Heard gets fired. James Wan took to Instagram to announce that Aquaman 2 will officially be titled Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. The announcement has relit the public backlash against Warner Brothers for still keeping Amber Heard in the Aquaman franchise while kicking Johnny Depp out from Fantastic Beasts 3, following the estranged couple's legal battle. Depp has filed a defamation lawsuit against Heard after she alleged that she was a victim of domestic abuse. The actor also filed a lawsuit against British tabloid The Sun's publisher newsgroup Newspapers and author and executive editor Dan Wooton over a 2018 article calling him a wife-beater. To fans' dismay, Depp lost the Libel case against The Sun in November 2020. A few days after losing the case, the actor announced that he has stepped down from his role as Grindelwald in Fantastic Beasts after being asked by Warner Brothers to do so. During the nasty legal battle, Johnny Depp's team has released evidence to the public claiming that the actor was the one who suffered abuse from Amber Heard's hands. The evidence includes a taped phone call between the two, Johnny's injured finger allegedly caused by Amber, and Amber's history of getting arrested for domestic violence against an ex. One of the biggest questions that still remains unanswered is whether leading lady Amber Heard will reprise her role as Princess Mera in Aquaman 2. We've heard reports alleging that Warner Bros initially approached her to step down from the role while she's locked in a controversial legal battle with her ex-husband, Johnny Depp. Also, according to a Hollywood insider, Amber Heard was sidelined for health and fitness reasons. Even Snopes caught on to our rumor and were unable to debunk it. It's a simply yes or no answer. The only response came from yet another insider who just said that the rumor was inaccurate. 